Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. It's been a while since I made this videos. Uh, so I'm finally back in States and uh, it's been a, almost a month since I was on the road. I went to Middle East, I went to Asian countries, um, Southeast Asia and um, you know, uh, had a coming back, had uh, stops in um, in uh, London for a few days um, and I'm finally back in state so um, hopefully I can get back to my rhythm and you know start making some more videos on uh, crypto trading um, overall you know I just wanted to like you know make this quick video today um, on Litecoin especially when we are seeing a nice momentum in Litecoin a lot of volume is coming into the market and especially in the Litecoin um, so let's talk about that and then I will share a couple of things that I have learned over the over the weeks uh, while I was traveling um, so let's get into this alright so Litecoin um, if you remember in my previous video I mentioned that we were seeing uh, inverse head and shoulder pattern this was back in uh, December time frame when I when the market took a nosedive and we had a nice inverse head and shoulder pattern the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder uh, and the neckline was right around the 35 mark since then we had a nice breakout in 20 2019 early January we try to uh, breach that neckline uh, but uh, we came right back to the 32 30 uh, 31 support zone um, because the overall market was quite weak and since uh, since then consolidation and then a nice breakout around the February time frame and we broke out of that previous resistance which was around forty dollars all right uh, so now, right now we are just making it higher high. Uh, we are getting into a lot of uh, congestion uh, as far as uh, the trading goes. So the uh, the mark from forty nine fifty dollars to the mark from you know about uh, about seventy dollars is going to be a lot of congestion. Uh, if you remember back in September to December, there was a lot of consolidation that took place in this lower base, and that will create some kind of you know congestion especially moving up uh, but if the overall market if we see a push from the bigger coins like ethereum and uh, bitcoin then we can easily uh, go to the next level of uh, resistance or target in litecoin which is around 73 dollars all right so litecoin again it's looking the momentum is quite nice the volume is picking up that is always a good sign um, and uh, we can easily see that next level of target uh, which is around that $70 mark uh, but we need to get through this congestion uh, that we are about to get into uh, this this level um, the $50 to uh, $55 to uh, the next $70 is going to be um, it's not going to be easy sailing it's going to be a little more uh, push and pull type of action because um, previously there were a lot of support and we broke down from the support now we have to uh, get back up and get through those resistance all right so again litecoin looking pretty nice um, but we do have to get through some resistance and some um, congestion that were taking place previously and uh, then we have to um, you know kind of let the coin consolidate all right but overall it's leading the market that's always a good sign and if we can get us some follow through from litecoin and some follow through from the bigger coins um, in the momentum then you we will see some nice traction going into uh, the month of March and into April all right so that's pretty much for the litecoin um, so just wanted to share like few things uh, during my travel I was talking to a lot of people uh, especially the investors um, who uh, who have been like you know um, you know uh, trading in the the crypto market and like you know uh, just regular like you know businessmen who are you know uh, who have businesses overseas and trying to like you know see where where are the investment opportunities and one thing that I learned over there is uh, there's a lot of um, money 
especially outside US there's a lot of money uh, in Middle Eastern countries in the Asian countries there's a lot of money uh, that is uh, you know not been reported as a taxable income so what that means is like I say uh, it's a black money which is basically means that uh, you have acquired the money but you haven't paid the taxes on that so what help uh, like a lot of people have been putting this money into the crypto market and uh, I was really surprised like how I, I was talking to some you know <clears throat> some businessmen over there and like you know they have put in so much money into the crypto market but they literally don't know anything about what is crypto market how it works um, the only thing they know that you know it's um, it's hard to trace um, and it's going to be like it's easy to like you know um, uh, you know store the capital or their money electronically rather than having it uh, in the Swiss bank account where it can be traced or you know it can be you know screwed scrutinized so a lot of people who have been starting like you know uh, to avoid the taxation on their income they have been starting to put their money into a crypto market ethereum is one of their favorite uh, that I came across a lot of people that I talked to um, especially in India I came across a lot of people like you know they and I was surprised that they knew about ethereum and this people I mean uh, I you would be I was I mean when I started talking about crypto they were like oh yeah I have I have a significant investment in crypto and I was surprised because India doesn't support the crypto market the government doesn't support the crypto market and I thought it was banned or there and um, apparently uh, the crypto market is quite big in Indian uh, in Indian subcontinent uh, especially um, Indian subcontinent Middle East um, you know it's significantly like you know there is a lot of investment in the crypto market so these people are just holding on to it and they're they're gonna keep on holding on to it because guess what uh, if they if they you know get out of it and like the they they will have to like you know either have to store uh, hard cash which is gonna be too much to store hard cash and it's very risky to store hard cash or they have to declare uh, you know their income on that and they can easily get scrutiny from you know the 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 tax men over there so uh, they have been just keeping this storing the money they're like long-term holder for this coins and they will just keep on to it uh, they will maybe like you know pull out some money here and there but the bulk of their money have been sitting in the crypto uh, you know crypto assets uh, with ethereum I learned there is their like favorite uh, Litecoin some Litecoin Bitcoin obviously uh, but I was really surprised at how big the crypto market is and in the in the subcontinent over there and uh, in the Middle Eastern uh, countries as well uh, so I will keep on sharing those things as we go along but um, just wanted to have a quick note on that so you know um, people can see like how other than the US um, obviously the Asian market Chinese market is big but especially talking with people on the ground it, it gives you a perspective on like how people are like you know uh, placing their bets and how people are like you know um, using the crypto market to you know get some momentum and they're like uh, how they're investing uh, in general um, overseas all right um, so that's pretty much it guys uh, I will make more videos uh, again I was on the road and just traveling schedule I got sick few times and it was just uh, wasn't really a pleasant time to make videos so and I think the market haven't done really much in last few weeks especially uh, the Bitcoin we have been sitting around that 70, 38 uh, 37 um, zone so um, so yeah um, back and back in states and I will be doing more videos okay all right if you're new to the channel please make sure uh, you subscribe to the channel uh, hit those notification the bell icon so you can get this content right away and if you have any questions uh, please shoot me an email or uh, you know post it in the comment all right talk to you soon